Hello. My name is Christopher McDaniel. I've had Parkinson's disease for 10 years. Hello. My name is Christopher McDaniel. I've, I've had Parkinson's disease for... Hello. My name is Christopher McDaniel. I am 29 years old and I've had Parkinson's disease for 10 years. In this video, I would like to talk about one subject of the side effects of the medication of Parkinson's. As you can see, the difference in the movement from this video to the first video, um, it's quite different. It's quite different movements. Um, this is from too much dopamine. I uh, accidentally woke up in the middle of the night and in the morning I took some medicine. I fell back asleep and I woke up and took some more medicine not realizing what time it was and so this is too much dopamine uh, in your body. This is called dyskinesis. Um, I have an idea that this is from whenever there's too much dopamine uh, and not enough messages to carry it around in your body. So this would mean there's too much control and nowhere to go. Uh, what tends to happen on this, uh, whenever this happens, is uh, like I sort of get what I call an Elvis lip or my lip droops. Uh, like sometimes your body will twist itself. Uh, like my fingers go like that. It's hard for me to walk. My walk is staggered. Oh, yeah. Um, it's funny because like right now I'm dressed like Shaggy from the uh, Scooby Doo Gang, and my girlfriend. Katie often says I walk like Shaggy <laughs> uh, from the Scooby-Doo game. Uh, sometimes that happens more so whenever I have too much dopamine in me. Um, like right now, uh, as well as a physical movement disorder, uh, I have flashes of lights. Uh, going off every now and again, uh, a, K, a hallucinations. Um, so, um, well, I was going to explain that uh, the reason that. Uh, your body has hallucinations from the medicine of anti-Parkinson's disease medication is because it's artificial dopamine. Uh, dopamine can be related to uh, the same similar uh, similar stuff that dreams are made of. Uh, you know like Parkinson's patients have schizophrenic like symptoms because schizophrenia is uh, a uh, an abundance of dopamine and Parkinson's disease is a lack of dopamine and anti-Parkinson's disease medication gives you dopamine and anti-schizophrenic medication takes dopamine away so, schizophrenic patients have Parkinson's-like symptoms from, as a side effect, from their medication. It is impossible, I can probably say without verifying this, that is, that uh, I will never have schizophrenia, and a schizophrenic patient will never have Parkinson's, but I do have schizophrenic-like side effects as a side effect 
or schizophrenic like symptoms as a side effect from my medication and schizophrenic side of Parkinson's like side effects as a or Parkinson's like symptoms as a side effect from the medication. You can die, I've read, uh, on a dopamine overdose. I don't know what happens. Um, there was this one time whenever I didn't care about life that I took uh, like a lot of dopamine, carbidopa, levodopa. And uh, it was like two or three days worth rather than one at a time. And what happened was I was sitting there with my friends watching the meteor shower and all this is in my head I was thinking I can't breathe and it was all very beautiful and um I looked up and right before I like it was going for a while where I couldn't breathe and right before I thought I was going to be in trouble. I <laughs> and then I started twisting my body around like this, similar. And uh, I didn't like, you know, it was crazy. I, I just, it was hard for me to breathe. And uh, it was painful. Like, I hate, I hate dyskinesis more than Parkinson's disease. So, uh, uh, this is just one side effect of carbidopa levodopa and possibly Mirapex and possibly Compton. Um, thank you very much. I'm going to try to get on with my day and let this medicine wear out.